Nikita Kliskov before match called France and said bite my back hard so everybody can see bite marks. Such circus at the World Championship, I don't remember. I went to 14 of those and I've seen a lot. So let's find out what happened. Ivan Vosichuk, you are on the channel Sila Partera, I'm a world champion, merited master of sport, competed as an athlete, and lastly, I see as a fan, second day was very rich day, a lot of good matches, seven weight categories, three male, two combat, and two female, so also with males, it's a little bit closer to me, and there is stuff to say. 71, 79, and 88 kgs competed. It happened so that local were in one subgroup and Russians were in the other subgroup. 71 kgs. Nikita Kliskov and Serikov Nurbol, Lilyashvili, George Makarian. I thought he'd been 79, but he cut weight. They were all in one subgroup. So he saw, he, he competed against Georgian and lost. And I'm thinking, do you need to lose weight? Just go higher and compete without sweating. No need to cut so much. In the same subgroup, guy from Bahrain. And what about Bahrain? I thought there's nobody there. But in the first match, he goes and competes against Kliskov. Nikita wins three points. Last second, he falls for two. And Kliskov won nonetheless. It's going to be more interesting in going forth. Second subgroup, two main comp competitors, and they were in the quarterfinal, Sarbon, Yarazarov, and Sayapin. The Sarbon beat and fought Angel Angelo from Bulgaria, and he beats him too. So now we're final. Nik Nikita Kliskov and Sarbon. Nikita beat Serikov, Nurbol, in the semifinals and guy from Bahrain beats all the matches in the rapper charge and takes third place. So third place from Bahrain, you ever heard of that? Cameroon first, last year, a third place from Bahrain is, is very strong. In a second subgroup, the third place, Siyan took first place. Let's look at the finals, it's very interesting. 79 kgs, leader, Wally Kurzhev, Alexander Koksha, and Georgian Nakhlarashvili Levan in his subgroup, and Turkmen wrestler. I did not see him before, I'll be honest. Ali Berdi Faldi. Wally beats everybody, beats Koksha clean. And on the other side, the guy from Uzbekistan, Rahmonov Ulukbek. So, third place fight was very interesting because Belarusian and Turkmen fight for that. Alexander Koksha was leading and four seconds before match, he fell. So it goes to th third place, goes to Turkmenistan. Again, my prognosis did not happen. Level goes and it's so hard to predict who wins. It's awesome actually. In the second subgroup, third place, Kazakh wrestler, Dartaev Aydin. So 88 kgs now. I called few people in my prognosis for the gold medal, and one of them was Yamat Yakubov. But Uzbeks told me that Yamat in the national championship lost and did not make the team. He lost to Ishmirodov Ikhtiar. He wrestled the uh, FIAS President Cup, and he threw Ryabov twice. So first match, he seized Dmitry Satsenko. Interesting match. I would have referee differently. 5-4 it was Ikhtiar won, but for Dmitri, who threw three times, was given one point as opposed to two. Why? I don't know why. I have a lot of questions to referees, especially for the third day. You'll see third day and it's going to be hot. I will kill all the referees, especially one. The way they refereed, it's unacceptable. We do not forgive such things. Then Timofey Emelianov in a Sergei subgroup, but met Azer Azerbaijan guy and Azeri guy won him, beat him clean. Sergei Ryabov beats Husseinov 
another Azerbaijan. And for the final, he plays an Iranian guy, Salilia Dimadame, Iranian wrestler. I've seen him in 2017. He was doing pretty well. He was stopped by a Kazakh wrestler, strong wrestler. But for the final, Sergei throws him clean on the first minute. But Iranian wrestler takes third place. He beats Azeri guy in a match for the third bronze. I did not expect it. Another medal goes to Iran. I've never seen Iranians place in ensemble. Goes back to smaller subgroup. Ikhtiar beats Tatsenko, then beats Kazarian, and for the in the semifinal beats Georgian. And the Georgian was strong himself. So final is gonna be hot. Dmitry Stasenko takes third from this subgroup. He beat everybody with Sila Partera. Submitted everybody, takes third. Just like I said, Dmitry was gonna take medal and it happened. Now, female combat and then male again. Dmitry Koba gave me protocols. Thank you very much, Dmitry. Sometimes last names are hard to pronounce. Female, 65 kgs. Ukrainian female, Yulia Grebinshka. For the first time, she competes in a world championship and she wins it. Uh, not very steadily, but she has character and last second, she always plays hard. Good ending. We thought she lose, but she threw Harvatin Sambist. I think the Croatian lady was European winner. She beats Alikova Ajar with a minimal advantage. Cool. Competes for the first time and win. It's awesome. 72 kg. It was unpredictable. But whoever who knows Alisa Schlesinger, Israeli wrestler, she was a good contender. She won World Twice 2013 and 14, then disappeared. And now she came back seven years later and won gold in the final she fought some best wrestler they very good they did good for finals for kazakhs second place as a team mongolian wrestler takes third in the second subgroup third place was taken by hamichkova interesting match for the final for the, in the semifinal she was winning a point and she wanted to do a roll and knee buff from down position and Kazakh athlete just like blanketed her, covered her and pinned her. Typical mistake for Roland Nibar. I don't want to teach anybody, but here's a, an idea. If you down, do not roll Nibar into the partner. Go to the outside with a leg swing or free leg. There is a chance if you mess it up, you won't be pinned at least. But I have quite a few examples like that. I Not that I got caught, but I was injured because I was rolling under, roll to the outside. How? I think I have it somewhere on my channel. If not, I'll record it. Combat Sambo. Two ways, 58 and 64. In 58, steadily, Bakiev Bahadir from Uzbekistan won. In the final, he fought Russian. Alexander Nesterov and outplayed him and deservingly took first. Third place, Shilov Sergei from Moldova and Dambaya from Kazakhstan. 64 kgs. Very interesting weight because the lowest guy was throwing spinning heel kicks and knocked out just about everybody. You saw it on my YouTube channel in shorts. His one hand shorter and just knocks out everybody kick tooth back into knockout and the short guy who kicks everybody's ass Haibulayev Sheikh Magomed will have pictures and then he kicks Trinidad Tobago athlete in 2014 this guy took second actually I don't know if it's the same fighter or from the same country he could have taken a gold back then and we could not believe that Africans can wake, couldn't win gold medals. But remember, Cameroon proved it, and this year too. So third place goes to Seisev, 
and Mishko Evgeny from Belarus. Final part for male categories. I'll keep this sweetest for later. I'll start with 79. Oli Kurjev steadily, just like a park, walk in the park, beats Rachmonov. 7-1. Almost clean, but still good enough. Match was controlled. Oli Kurjev congratulating with the fourth world championship. 88 kgs. I had questions. It was an even match. Ikhtiar was punished first, and 20 seconds before the end, Sergei was punished. I think it's not cool, unfair, because wrestling was even, and if you punish, maybe at least a minute before end of the match, so the so guy has a chance to play and score. It looks like it was done by on purpose, but in Ikhtiar's defense, he wrestled well. Everybody kind of stood, it was not active, so... That's how cookie crumbled. You can get punished 20 seconds before the end of the match. Too bad, but it is what it is. 71 kgs. I'll tell you his story, how it happened for real. Nikita Klitskov asked Hartak or Sergei, his friend, before match and said, Seroga, bite my back. Hard, so bite marks are seen. And Sergei asks, why, why? And Nikita says, I'll be wrestling. I'll do a sumegaeshi with a kimura, give up my back, and I'll pretend that I'm beat. And we'll get DQ'd. Ah, okay, let's, yeah, but I'll bite you. And Nikita waited for the match for three minutes, waited for his scenario as he planned, and Sarbon was DQ'd. That's what a lot of people wrote in commentaries that he was beat before match. Guys, what are you doing? Who will calculate such a scenario? Maybe he doesn't even remember Uzbek because in the final adrenaline, your arm is about to get torn off and he just beat and maybe didn't forget or maybe he did it on purpose. We'll never know. But the fact is, there was a bite. I saw it from seats, 50 meters behind. The guy was decued. He started to fight and a scene and he was deprived from the silver medal as well. Guys, we all want to win. Gold medal will last whole year, but you gotta win fairly, like a man. And if you made something stupid, own up and apologize. Maybe I was emotional, so own up. And next year, maybe you'll win gold after accepting your mistake. But it's some kind of karma with 71 kg. European Championship without silver, World without silver championship, what was going on? Cursed weight. So, results. I think that after match, Sergei Ryabov, something happened with few judges because what happened on the third day, it was nightmare. Referees, you are under a microscope. Everybody watches you. You on the camera, so don't think you'll be unpunished. Everything was deliberate. You, I'll show you next video how it all happened. And finally, I'm, I'm a bad predictor. I did not predict correctly, but I'm happy that it happened. Certain countries I did not expect took medals. I, I, I would not even expect them to compete, never mind actually win. So if you like the video guys, like it and wait for the next video.